So in this video I'm going to be talking you through uh, how to edit your widgets on your sidebar and also your footer and uh, exactly how you would move them around and remove them and add some new ones. So I just want to quickly recap exactly what we mean by a widget and what the sidebar and the footer is. So here's my test site. I've got a two column set up on my test site. So as you can see the first column has content and the second column has my sidebar and this has a number of widgets. At the moment I've got three in. So I've got the newsletter uh, Hot Topics which is a tag cloud and then also the recent comments that have been left on my blog. And if I scroll down a little bit further I have the footer down here and as you can see I've got three widgets on the footer. So I've got the About widget, I've got the Flickr widget and I've got the Twitter widget. So this is actually set up uh, from uh, within your site layout. I've actually set this site up so it has space for three areas on the footer. Uh, you can change that to have one, two, three or four. So we're not going to cover that in this video. Um, I will literally just show you how to remove some of these or add some new ones in. Okay, so if we go back to our WordPress administration dashboard. So first of all, you'll need to go into the uh, uh, widgets um, editing area. So going down the left hand column if you open up appearance and then there's a sub menu there called widgets. So if you just click on that so it's appearance and then widgets and as you can see in the middle here you've got um, a, a box which is called available widgets. So that's literally the, the widgets that aren't being used at the moment but you have the option of using them um, on your website if you want to. So there's an awful lot of um, an awful lot of different options that you have in here and you can really just play around and see what each widget does and see if you want to use it on your website. Now over on the right hand side I've got the primary and the secondary boxes here which you can expand and collapse. Now you've most likely going to have only primary that's available to use. This is referring to the sidebar and this is referring to a two column layout site so this is literally the primary sidebar. You could set your website up so that you have three columns so you have your content column and then you could have two sidebars and if you did have two sidebars you would be able to manage the secondary one as well. Um, but as I say this website's only set up with two columns so even if I did put widgets into the secondary box here they're never going to appear because I haven't set my website up to have uh, a second uh, sidebar. And then we've got our footer widgets here. So I've got footer one, two, and three. Now, as I said, um, I've set this particular website up so that it has space for three widgets on the footer. If I uh, change that and I set it up so that there was four widgets on the footer, another box would appear here. So I'd have a footer four box. Okay, so if we have a look at the primary uh, um, sidebar here, you can see that I've got the subscribe and connect, I've got the tag cloud and I've got recent comments. So if I wanted to drag and drop, let's just say um, this is a flare, this is a plugin, so let's just say I wanted to drag and drop my flare widget onto the, the sidebar, I can literally just pick it up and pop it onto my primary sidebar here. And I'm just going to call this uh, social, social proof. So that's literally the title which is going to appear on my widget. And I'm going to leave all of those options as a default. So I'm just going to save that. So let's just go back to our website to see what that's done. I'm going to refresh this. Okay, and as you can see, I now have a fourth widget, which actually there's not much going on in there because this is a test website. So there's not really anything going on um, in that plugin anyway. But as you can see, I've now got a fourth widget there. So I'm going to go back to my widgets admin panel. Okay, so we have the order that's set here. So first of all is my newsletter and then it goes tag cloud, comments and then flare. Let's just say I wanted my flare to be second on the list there. So I can literally drag and drop and put the flare to appear under the newsletter. There's no need to save um, anything, any changes on here because it already automatically saves. So if I go back to my website now and refresh, you can see that uh, my, my flare, which I've named Social Proof, is now second on the list here. Okay, so if I wanted to remove that, uh, I could very easily do that. I literally just need to expand my flare widget and then delete it. Okay, and that's done. So I'm now back to three. Well, let's just say that I wanted to move one of these widgets from the sidebar to the footer. So uh, let's just say I wanted to put my recent comments down the bottom 
I can literally pick up this widget from the sidebar and I can drag it and drop it down to the footer. There we go. So I've now got two widgets in space number two on my footer. So if I go back to my site and refresh that, you can see it's now gone from the sidebar. And if I scroll down, I have got two um, widgets in the second position on my footer here. Okay, so that's um, just to show you that you can do more than one uh, widget in, in a space on your footer and it will literally stack them up. And if you don't want to do that, you don't want them stacked up, you only want one there. So let's just say we actually wanted to uh, swap the comments and the Flickr. I can literally pick up my Flickr widget and I can drag and drop it and bring it up to whatever position I want it in the sidebar. And that's it, that is managing your sidebar and your footer uh, with the widgets.